Educators can move mountains for our kids, and it's our job to give them the support so that they're successful in doing that. And as Governor Gretchen Whitmer announced today, some of that support includes historic funding for schools as part of the state's pandemic relief efforts. More than $4 billion in additional spending will be included in the state's new budget. And as TV5's James Felton explains, it's money to ensure the safety and success of teachers and students preparing for a new school year. I'm excited to finally see it come through. Stephen Bigelow is like a lot of school superintendents across the state welcoming an influx of new funding to the school budget. Today, Governor Gretchen Whitmer signed legislation that sends $4.4 billion of federal COVID relief funding to Michigan's K-12 education system. We're looking at using some of the funding for training and resources uh, for our staff, the professional development um, to focus on student recovery uh, coming out of this, especially when we're dealing with mental health. Bigelow tells me Bay City Public Schools will receive $6.2 million, and the funding doesn't stop there. We also saw an increase in the per pupil foundation allowance. That's how much money we get per student uh, to $8,700, which is an increase of $589 from last school year. Bigelow says the per pupil funding increase does a lot towards putting all school districts on a level playing field. One of the things that we have seen is that the funding between districts is not always equal. And this is uh, going a long ways to, to shortening that equity funding gap that we see between many districts. Back in May, Whitmer paid a visit to Bay City Central High School. She talked about her goal to invest more in education. Now Bigelow is glad to see what Whitmer said coming to fruition. Knowing that this additional funding is coming in provides us with a, a little breath of relief as we're attempting to provide all those uh, additional support services that we know our students are going to need in a post-pandemic world. James Felton, WNEM, TV5.